Welcome back to Doing Life With You. What's up, y'all? What's up? So we've been in Chiang Mai for like almost a month now. Yep. And we both agree that out of all the places we've stayed in Thailand so far, Chiang Mai has some of the best food that we've tasted. Yep. And in this video, we're gonna go over a few of the food options that you should check out when you are in Chiang Mai. I would like to say that this video does not include any of the street food or, you know, the street stalls because clearly everybody knows that those are all delicious. Yeah. This is specifically about the different cafes, places we've eaten breakfast, etc. So stay tuned. When you come to Chiang Mai, make sure you visit these places. All right, so of course, I want to start with my favorite meal of the day, dessert. So one of our favorite dessert spots that we've been to since we've been here is Seven Senses Gelato. <laughs> Welcome to Seven Senses. Yeah. Yeah, Seven Senses Gelato is probably um, the most unique one that we found while we were in Chiang Mai and this is run by a Italian guy um, That moved to Chiang Mai full-time with his family and he started this restaurant in 2020 and he's been running it ever since Yeah, so he hasn't even gotten to see the height of Chiang Mai, you know with all the tourists who get to enjoy and eat his delicious gelato. So when the country fully opens and everyone comes back, when you come to Chiang Mai, make sure you check out Seven Senses Gelato. He has some regular flavors, you know, like caramel and chocolate, my two favorite. Mm. But then he also has some local flavors. Lunch, which, which one did you yeah, try? Yeah, I, tr I tried durian flavor. <laughs> and this is the first time I've ever tried durian anything. Oh. It kind of reminds me of, it's not like garlic, but it's close to like what garlic was. It's one of the one of the multiple flavor. Is actually this kind of a garlic. So it's, it's pretty unique. Flavor. Yeah, I think that was a mistake though. I don't think we should have tried the durian gelato before we tried actual the durian because yeah. that made it taste good. And now we're not too sure about trying. But the the, the the nice thing to touch on that about the one that he, he let us try is he's figured out a way to make it odorless. So like you don't get the pungent durian yeah. smell um, that you usually get from the fruit. So he's able to make it um, in a unique way. Yeah. And then our other favorite dessert spot that we've been to so far. We actually stumbled upon when we were uh, roaming around old Chiang Mai, and that was Kom, K-H-O-M, Chocolatier House. Yeah, this one is, is also a must um, that you have to go to. The shop owner, we met her when we were there. So she nice. is super friendly. Um, and the nice thing I like about theirs is, is like they personalize um, their chocolate tastings for you. Yeah. So you go in, you choose which ones you want to try out. If you get the chocolate shot. Yeah, chocolate shot. Which we got chocolate wasted. <laughs> <laughs> of course. And she's super friendly. Um, she's open to any questions you might have about like her business and stuff like that, which yeah. is nice. So when you're in Chiang Mai and you got a sweet tooth like me, you got to go to Seven Sisters Gelato and comb K-H-O-M, Chocolatier House, must try. Okay, so the next category on our list is breakfast. So our number one top pick um, that Wudiyam and I have settled on is Sunrays. So this is a, a small cafe that we found when we were exploring old city Chiang Mai. It's disrespectful. And when I tell you, they have the best breakfast stuff. It, <laughs> it's disrespectful. I had French toast with all this fresh fruit on top, and what did you have? You had like some eggs and... I had like, I don't remember what I had. <laughs> it was so good, y'all. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We put some footage on the screen, but it just the present, just the presentation was just out of this world. Yeah. Mm, I'm hungry now. <laughs> and then another place we went to was Rustic and Blue. Rustic and Blue had some delicious food as well. And it's not too expensive either. So most of the most of the most of the things that we bought at these places were are about six dollars a meal, which is kind of expensive. Yeah, but like for if you're comparing it to what you pay in America for yeah. that, yeah, for sure. 
Okay, so this next place, we went to the most times out of any place we've gone to. I think this was the first our, place that we ate at. Yeah, it was. And it's been our favorite. We've literally gone back like three times a week. And that is Crazy Noodle. Crazy Noodle is exactly what it sounds like. They serve noodles, okay? You choose your noodle type. You choose your broth. You choose your topping, so whatever you want in it, whether it be prawns, dumplings, uh, corn, seaweed, whatever. And they make it for you and they bring it out and you eat until your heart is content and it's delicious. The portion sizes are great. The cost yeah. is it's $2. Excellent. $2, $2 Two. per bowl. So. $2. So you can go there, you know, on a on an empty stomach, eat to eat to you, drop whatever you want. Well, I mean, let's get this straight. It's not like an all you can no, eat, no, babe, yeah. but the, the, amount, food, the food is very delicious. Yeah, so like in America, Lawrence and I were discussing that when you go to these restaurants, they give you like Lawrence and I love ramen, so we often uh, frequent a ramen shop. They give you food, but it's never enough noodles. We always had to order extra noodles and pay like three dollars. For extra noodles but here at crazy noodle they gave us so much that we were both so full and honestly it's just delicious try out crazy noodle yep. it's pocket friendly it's stomach friendly it's mouth friendly it's friendly <laughs> and it's delicious okay Definitely. crazy noodle go the next category we have are just unique places that we've discovered while we were in Chiang Mai so the first one we want to mention is this um what's it called hot pot let it call. Right. No, I think pot. it's called like Potty. Pato Master. Pato, Pato Master. Master. <laughs> Somebody's Something Master. Something like that. It's but... like a hot pot place. So they pretty much like bring all the ingredients to you and they have like this. Um... A boiling hot pot. <laughs> no, but what's the thing that you put the hot pot on? Oh, the little, little stove? The little stove, know. yeah. And then so they just bring the ingredients to you and you have, you have to cook the stuff yourself. Yeah, so I will say that I do enjoy the luxury of having the chef and the kitchen cook my food and then bring it out to me. Yeah. I do enjoy that luxury. However, it's a really cool experience. So if you're here in Chiang Mai and you want to check it out, um, yeah, check it out. And the next thing on our list is the Free Bird Cafe. Man. So this is one that we discovered while we were just looking for stuff to eat. Is this um, a vegetarian restaurant? Yeah, I think it's like a vegetarian vegan? slash vegan restaurant. Um, and Delicious. they have a lot of uh, Thai inspired dishes that are all like vegan stuff. You have to get the samosas. Samosa, samosas are really Aren't good. those Indian? Uh, I'm not sure actually. Anyway, they're delicious. I low-key want to go get some right now. <laughs> the samosas were delicious and Lawrence had the vegan cow soy. Yeah, the vegan cow soy. And it, that was really good too. Yeah. I wanted to switch plates with him when he got that. And they have like a lot of smoothie options and um, fresh pressed juices as yeah. well. And so while we're on that topic of health conscious food options yeah. like fresh pressed juices and smoothies, if you're looking to, you know, keep the waist slim, keep that swimsuit body right, you can always stop over at Salad Concept which we've really enjoyed going to. Mm -hmm. It's exactly what it sounds like. They have a whole bunch of different salad options that you can get. You can build your own or you can pick from their uh, pre-made list of salads. Yeah. They also have wraps and smoothies and things like that, so yeah. yeah. And it, se it seems to be popular amongst the locals as well. So yeah. we've seen a lot of locals there. Every time we go, um, a lot of people are ordering it on Food Panda, like the yeah. delivery app or Grab app. So it's definitely a place where you can go for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. They have a wide variety of food options. Oh there. yeah, because we went for breakfast one day and Lawrence got, he always gets eggs, toast, and, and something. And, egg yeah. something like that, yeah. <laughs> and I got literally a fruit salad. It was literally a plate bigger than my face yeah, full huge. of fruit. It's huge, it's gonna fill you up for sure. And that's one thing I really, really love about eating in Thailand as a whole. The fruit here is so delicious. Like. I don't know what I'm gonna do when we have to go back to America. Like the bananas in America are so nasty, and I didn't know that before I came to Thailand and ate an American. I mean, a Thai banana. What about so, mangoes? Oh, <laughs> mangoes. I never had a mango as oh. delicious as I did in Thailand. I mean, everything. The watermelon. Oh. And oh we, we, Lord. we came at a perfect time. This is like their mango season, so Woo! the mangoes are just I'm just quaking in my spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you ever decide to come to Thailand, be sure to come around their mango season because the delicious. fruit is just very, very good. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, these are some of our top choices of places you should check out when you come to Chiang Mai. 
And if you like this video, make sure you like and comment and subscribe. And don't forget to put on those push notifications so that way you get notified each time I put out a new video. <laughs> That's all. Thanks for doing life with us. Peace.